perfectionist, perfectionistic people. Hello y'all, I'm Diana Breanne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I do give my perspective on different topics. I hope you like, share, subscribe. All five channel names pinned to the top of the comment section or description box below. Perfectionistic people and also people that are very, very messy and disorganized. You know, I think often people who are perfectionistic um, grew up in a very disorganized situation. Not always, but I think often they grew up with chaos and confusion, which sort of led them to be perfectionistic. They wanted everything to be just exact and in its place. It gave them or gives them a form or a feeling of control in their life. And often perfectionistic people feel like there's somebody around them that wants them to be a perfectionist, when indeed often there's no one around them that is demanding that from them. Often it is they themselves that is demanding it from themselves <gasps> due to reasons. It could be from anything. It could be from a chaotic, disorganized childhood or things that have happened along the way in life. And yet, um, people who are uh, not organized and people who live their life as a mess often have come out of a mess as well. And not always, because I've seen people who are very disorganized and very messy that came out of perfectionistic um, situations or very organized situations. So it can work both ways. And yet often people who are messy and disorganized, um, they, they just have a difficulty putting things together in their own minds. And sometimes things just seem very, very chaotic. And so the key to it is, I don't personally want to be perfectionistic, nor do I want to be disorganized. I want a very healthy balance. I'm, you know, I can, I can kind of err on the side of perfectionism or perfectionistic standards. And yet I remind myself that life doesn't have to be perfectionistic in most situations. I guess there could be some situations, you know, if you're a technical expert in an area that maybe you do need to be a perfectionist, but most areas don't require perfectionism. But at the same time, we don't want a messy life. We don't want a life that's chaotic and confusing and kind of rambling all over the place. So I think it's good to be very organized and very disciplined and proactive in our lives and um, point our lives in the right direction. And yet, I don't think we always have to do it at perfectionistic standards, whether it's in relationships or any other area of life. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.